Hello happy peepees, Daniel here. So today's video is all about the nitrogen cycle. And understanding and mastering the nitrogen cycle will be key to keeping your fish happy and will be a key to making your life easier without having to do so many water changes. Now these are my fish, I've bought a new fish, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the fish I currently have, you, you might have seen it in other videos, but I've, what happened is that Rambo here, see he sucks on the bottom, he sucks on the gravel a lot, he just goes around the tank sucking on the bottom pretty much all day. And what happened is that he inhaled one of my small fish, I had a little little bristle nose catfish, a tiny one, probably about two and a half centimeters long. And Rambo, while he was siffling through the gravel, he goes through the gravel with his mouth spitting out rocks, he inhaled the, the catfish, the little fish. And when I came home from work, I saw that he had half a bloody fish sticking out of his mouth. See what he's doing now? He does that all the time, he, especially when he's hungry. He's just been fed, so he's not that hungry, but he does it all the time. And he, like I said, I came home and he had, a, he had half of the poor fish sticking out. I fished him, I thought, God, I've got to do something or they'll both probably die. Because he had half the thing sticking out. I don't know whether that didn't interfere with his gills breathing, but he certainly, like, I don't know. Like, what, what would have happened? Like, it, it would have decomposed half of the fish sticking out of his mouth. It would have been good. He would have died. So I, I netted him out. I got the net. I got him out. I yanked and yanked on the fish, what was left of the fish sticking out of his mouth. I yanked and yanked. It wouldn't come out. I tried with some serious force. And eventually I got him out. I was a bit scared that I might have done Rambo some damage because, yeah, I used a fair bit of force to get the fish out. But anyhow, this is my new fish. That reminds me, this is, where is he? Um, his name's Snake. He likes to hang around here for some reason. No, not there today. Where is he? Here he is. He's a bit still at the moment. Where is he? What has he gotten to now? Oh, he's hiding behind the bushes. Anyway, I've got a new fish. His name's Snake. He's a catfish. Glass sucker. I don't know what they're called, but he's pretty huge. He's about 15 centimeters wide. I'll see if I can get a better shot of him. Oh. No, he's hiding. Oh, here he is. That's him there. So he's pretty big. He sucks on the glass a lot. He's, he's done great for my algae. He's really cleared it up. He's a big fish. He's got a big appetite. But anyway, that's uh, alluding. That's, that's, that's taking the topic off from what we were meant to be talking about. The nitrogen cycle, guys. Okay, the basics of the nitrogen cycle. When you get a fish in the tank, they poo in the water, they pee in the water. Now, enough of that poo and pee. It's ammonia. It's the same with cat litter. Like, if you've got a cat, you know that they poo and pee in the cat litter and they bury it as best they can, but if you... I'm not sure if you own a cat, if you know what the cat litter smells like. That's ammonia. And it's the same with the fish tank. These fishies poo and pee in the water and it's a toxic, pungent, deadly chemical ammonia is. So it'll kill your fish in high levels. It won't do it straight away, but if the ammonia levels get high enough, which is pretty quick to happen, especially in an uncycled tank. You can kill your fish. Now the whole, you may have heard of the term cycling your tank. All that that means is getting the chemical makeup right in your aquarium. Now to begin with, like I said, fish, they poo in, they pee in the water. Now the good thing is if you give it enough time, and especially if you introduce bacteria with something like this, this is what I use, stress enzyme, contains live bacteria to consume algae, sludge, whatever. It contains live bacteria. This live bacteria, it mainly lives on the surfaces of everything. It lives in the gravel, it lives on all the ornaments, but its main home is in the filter. Because it's got a lot of surface area in the filter with all the sponge, with all the holes in it. The good bacteria love it. But it takes time for the good bacteria to develop and they will eat your ammonia. Which is good because ammonia is deadly. And what they do, they eat ammonia and they poo, the bacteria poo as well, yes, they eat and they poo, and they poo nitrites, nitrites with an I, not nitrates, nitrites. 
and the whole thing about the nitrites are then consumed by a different bacteria to produce nitrates and nitrates are almost harmless for your aquarium so that the goal of the nitrogen cycle and of cycling your tank is to get rid of the ammonia with the bacteria that that'll turn it into nitrates nitrites I beg your pardon, nitrites and then have bacteria that will turn the nitrites which are half as which is half as deadly as ammonia into nitrates which is almost not toxic at all, at all. well that's a bit not true, it is toxic but it's, it's nowhere near as toxic as nitrites or n ammonia so what that means, like at the moment I've um I did a water change today and I did a water test before I did the water and to be honest I didn't even have to change the water if I didn't want to because my ammonia levels were right down, the good bacteria have been eating all of my ammonia there's almost no ammonia in the tank my nitrite levels were low so the, the bacteria ate the nitrites it's eaten up all the nitrites and I had a little bit of um, nitrates which like I said it isn't almost, it's almost non-toxic to fish but um, I, it was still very low levels of nitrates so that's the whole go thing guys, like I, I didn't even have to re replace any of the water today, the water condition was fine I don't know why I did it, I just, it's just a, I'm a creature of habit and I, I think it's better to have fresh water in there every week I only did a 20% change but like I said it didn't even need it, so if you do cycle your tank it makes your life even easier, you don't have to s replace the water anywhere near as much as what you would if you didn't have the beneficial bacteria, now the main, like I said, the main home of the bacteria is in the, the filters so you want to make sure you drain your water into a bucket or whatever you've got, a tub, I use a big tub pull out the biofilter, the sponge, whatever you want to call it pull it out of the aquarium, chuck it in the bucket with the water over the aquarium that you've just drained and give it a good squeeze, clean it out in the bucket with the water you've just changed that will stop any of the nasty chemicals in regular tap water from killing off the bacteria because the bacteria can die if exposed to chlorine other sort of metals in the water, in tap water should I say so you have to yeah, that'll make your life a lot easier, like I'm not going to go into everything you need but you will need something, a water conditioner for your fish as well but that, that's a different topic there but um yeah, the nitrogen cycle, so it makes your life easy once you've got a down pat now what I did I found that you can leave the biofilter, that you can leave the media in the filter there, you don't have to drain, you don't have to clean it every time you do a water change, in fact it's probably beneficial not to clean it every time you do a water change because the only thing that really lives in here is good bacteria most of the poop and the pee and whatnot in the water that the fish make land in the gravel so you want to give you, it's important, if you want to get rid of this crap in your aquarium clean the gravel, don't worry so much about the filter alright well that's my two cents worth guys if you have any benefit from this video please like and subscribe leave a comment if you wish alright well I hope that's helpful for you, like I said the nitrogen cycle is your friend alright guys, thank you, bye